Dermot O'Leary and Alison Hammond spoke with LBC radio host Nick Ferrari and royal correspondent Camilla Tomini during Tuesdays this morning as they discussed the latest news headlines. The first topic they spoke about was the travel chaos and flights being cancelled at airports during half-term. However, the debate took a turn when Nick launched into a rant about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Dermot began the discussion by asking Camilla about the reports claiming Harry and Meghan's film cameras for their Netflix documentary will be moved on during the Queen's Jubilee if it's made public. So basically, I think the point of the story is, is that Netflix isn't accredited for any of the official Jubilee events, the royal expert explained. So any sense of that we're going to bring this film crew over and it's still a debate point as to why Netflix are now still with them because they did the Invictus documentary. She continued, so I think there are fears behind palace walls that they don't want it to become a media circus and to be fair, that's not Meghan or Harry's fault. It becomes a media circus simply because they're there. They've not necessarily done anything to attract it, so the Netflix thing as far as the government authorities are concerned, they're not accredited. Camilla went on to point out there are worries from the palace about Harry and Meghan dropping another Sussex bombshell. There is concern about them overshadowing events, she added. Although it must again be said that their people over in LA are saying they're just going to stick to the script. They're not going to be freelancing too much. And actually, I spoke to somebody yesterday who said I wouldn't expect to see all that much of them beyond the official engagement. So I think they're going to be at the service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral and take part in the trooping, of the color, although not be on the balcony, and we might not see that much more of them. I want to see loads of them, Alison chipped in before she asked Nick his thoughts. Weighing in on the subject, Nick fumed, there's obviously an interest in them and of course there is, and the fact that there has been what is reported to be the estrangement between them all. Dot on the subject of the Netflix cameras, Camilla knows better than anybody there is a very well run and accepted process by which you get what are called camera positions and you get access. People go through it and news organizations go through it. That is the way it should run, he raged before adding. And a crew effectively freelancing it, coming over and expecting to get in the way, is not fair and it's not right. That is why I am sure ITV will have a fantastic coverage of it all because they get the camera positions that they have been working on for months and that is the way it should work. The segment sparked a strong reaction from viewers, and many took to social media to share their thoughts on Harry and Meghan's presence at the Queen's Jubilee. Sarah penned, I'm looking forward to seeing Harry and Meghan. It's the only bit of the Jubilee I want to see. The rest of it, I will be painting my living room. Edina wrote, I just don't get the hate for Harry and Meghan. They wanted to leave the royal service, who cares if they do other stuff? Following royal protocol, your whole life is very different from choosing what projects you want to do hashtag this morning. While Victoria added, I thought Harry and Meghan wanted to be private yet they have Netflix following them about hashtag this morning. Sick, this morning airs weekdays at 10am on ITV.